Okay, welcome back. Our next chapter is everything becomes programmable. In this chapter, we will study. In this chapter, we will study that uh, about the programming language. That is Python. Uh, what are the basic programming support IoT devices using? Uh, and we will use the Python language for this purpose and describe basic programming variables and fundamentals. We will apply some uh, basic programming variables and fundamentals in Bobby, uh, that is a tool. Uh, then apply basic programming variables and fundamentals using Python. Then we will study uh, prototyping your idea, explain prototyping, uh, prototyping and its purpose and then we will describe prototyping Describe the various tools and materials to use the tools to prototype. So the first thing is uh, flowchart. What is flowchart? Uh, a very simple de definition of flowchart is uh, it's a type of a diagram that represents a workflow or process. It can also be defined as a diagrammatic representation of an algorithm. A step by step approach to solve a task. Uh, if you want to solve any task, then you can, uh, or if you want to uh, make a program for uh, any purpose, then first, we, what, we, what you are doing is you are writing an algorithm. And that, what is algorithm? Algorithm is also actually uh, a, step, a step by step you are writing uh, your problem uh, and how you are solving those problems. That is good. Uh, the, for any problem, uh, what are the steps for that problem, solution of that problem? So you are writing in steps. That is an algorithm. And when you are uh, representing your algorithm uh, in a diagrammatic representation, that is with a flowchart. Also, you can say that uh, the diagram that depicts a process system or computer algorithm, they are widely used in multiple fields to document, study, plan, improve and communicate often complex process in clear easy to understandable form diagram understandable diagram you are you are doing like that as you can see in this uh, flow chart that is given here on the slide uh, the following question based on slide flow, uh, flow chart what are these questions we are starting from there are some symbols uh, as mentioned in your uh, your book not here uh, on your portal, these uh, shapes, what, what, uh, what is the shape for start, what is the shape for process, these all shapes, these are different types of shape, uh, shapes we are using uh, in flowchart. So when we are starting, this is a separate shape. Similarly, for process, there is a separate shape. As you can see, there are uh, some are uh, rectangles and some are uh, these shapes uh, present in the flowchart. So these are different types of shapes. And you must know these types of shapes and then you will draw a flow chart for your problem. As you can see here, um, this is for uh, a sensor. This is for an IoT device that is a door. When the door is open, for how much time the door is open, uh, then it will uh, create a sound alarm. So for that purpose, it is a uh, flow chart. You can see here, we have to start from here read door sensor the sensor will read the door that is door open if the door is open if the door is open you can see here is door open if no then counter zero delay two seconds then it will again to the read door sensor if it is yes then counter is equal to zero and if counter is equal to zero there are two conditions here. There are conditions as the condition. The first two conditions were there. Is door open? If yes, then towards this side. If no, then it will be the counter is equal to zero delay two seconds. And again, it will go to the read door sensor. Again, if counter zero, uh, sorry, if counter is equal to zero, if yes, then it will be uh, again, if yes, then counter is equal to counter plus two and delay two seconds. And if this counter is equal to zero, 
if it is not zero then is counter greater than or, or equal to zero if yes then there is a sound alarm if no then again the same condition you can see in these in, in these uh, two cases the counter is going uh, backward towards the read the door sensor okay so this is a flow chart uh, for reading the sensor on the that is present on the door this flow chart diagram uh, diagram that are due to represent process or uh, work flows as i told you in the beginning of the uh, chapter that the, what is flow chart and uh, so it is also mentioned here diagram uh, that are used to represent and process or work flows instead how a process should work show input states any decision made uh, made and the results of those decisions as you can see uh, this is a light bulb replacement flow chart this flow chart related to a light bulb replacement light does not come on if you are pressing the switch on button and it is not going to on is there a bulb the first condition is the bulb is there uh, or not if there is no bulb bulb then install a bulb okay if there is a bulb now the next thing is if the bulb is present there is bulb burned out it will check that you have this this flow chart is saying that you have to check that uh if the bulb is present there so is it burn out if yes replace the bulb if no then check no power check bracket if the bulb is present and it is not going to on then what have what can happen also no power will be there if there is a burn out then replace the bulb okay then replace the bulb again there is one condition does it work if when you are replacing the uh, when you are replacing the bulb then after replacing the bulb is it working or not okay if it is working your task is completed if it is not working then again you have to check the power button okay so uh, these are uh, two flow charts those are available here on your in your slides okay the next is uh, system software application software and computer Uh, what is system software? What is application software? And what uh, is computer language? So the system software, when we are saying the system software, uh, the system software is the software designed to provide a platform for other software. The example is uh, the Windows operating system. Different operating system we are using. These are all system software. Uh, those are as as in the uh, in the definition I told you. Uh, a software that is designed to provide a platform for other software that you are using other software on that software that is a platform your windows is a platform your uh, uh, microsoft windows or it is a, a linux operating system or it is a macintosh operating system all these operating system uh, systems are uh, system software and on these softwares as by the definition you can understand and we are working on that on this platform similarly when we are talking about the smart device on the mobile then android is a uh, is an operating system uh, that is working on android devices and similarly uh, for apple uh, the ios there okay so this is the system software and what are the application program uh the the sec, uh, the next thing is application program or application software uh, it's a program or group of program uh, designed for end users for example uh, an application include a word processor a spreadsheet uh, an accounting application a web browser an email client uh, a media player all these are uh, the examples of application software uh, like um, uh, file viewer okay a console game or a photo editor all these are the examples of application software and uh, what is programming languages uh, what are the programming languages uh, as you know that all these uh, all uh, the both system software and the application software are designed in computer language uh, your windows uh, operating system if you are talking about operating system even it is a uh, windows or uh, linux And these are all uh, operating systems are programmed in uh, computer languages so you can define for computer uh, programming language uh, as 
the computer uh, the programming language is a formal language which comprises a set of instructions uh, that produce various kind of outputs programming languages are used in computer programming to implement algorithms uh, uh, what is algorithm to solve any problem we are using the uh, if we have any problem then we are using the uh, algorithm for solving that problem or when we are doing some programming then before writing a program before writing a code in any uh, computer language we are uh, writing an algorithm for that purpose most pro programming languages consist of uh, instructions for computers okay so uh, these are the system software application software and computer languages uh, as from the slide you can see application software uh, programs are created to accomplish a certain task or collection of tasks okay this is an application software uh, like as i have uh, given you the examples of uh, uh, different application uh, software like uh, word processor spreadsheet these are all uh, examples of application software and system software works between the computer hardware and the application program in the, this system software is working in between the hardware and application program as i have given you the example of uh, operating system different operating systems are working in between the hardware and the application program both system software software and application software are created using programming language as i told you in the beginning uh, that both uh, system software and application software are programmed in a computer language for uh, for the solution of any purpose Uh, the python is an example uh, of an interpreted programming language as uh, i told you in the beginning that we will use python as a programming language this uh, chapter uh, this is the basic programming concept that we have to uh, know about the programming variable because the variables are used, uh, if you studied c or c++ or any other language uh, like java Uh, then you uh, maybe you have the knowledge of variables if you didn't study and you, first time you are uh, listening the name uh, of variable then you have to understand that variables are the thing that we are using uh, or we are using uh, in programming language uh, for many purposes like here uh, we can define uh, the programming variable uh, as in a computer uh, programming a variable is a storage address it's a storage address uh, paired with an associated symbolic name uh, which contains some known or unknown quantity of information uh, referred to as value like here you can see that uh, we uh, here it is given x plus y is equal to z uh, what does it mean we are calculating the we are adding two numbers uh, but we didn't write here the numbers we have written here Uh, variable the variable x variable y and variable z these all are variable which can represent character character string numeric value or memory addresses can be any type we are defining the type of the variable uh, either it is a, uh, a character or it is a string in the programming language okay programming uh, as here uh, it is written that programming language uh, use variable to hold phrases numbers or other important information that can be used coding variable can hold the result of uh, calculation uh, the result of a database query or some other value now you can see here uh, as it is written here a is equal to 10 this is also a variable in the beginning x and x plus y is equal to z we didn't define any value uh, maybe we will uh, in the program we will ask for that value that what is x we have, we have to enter uh, the value of x and y and then we will get the result that will be in variable z but here in the second variable a we have written here a is equal to 10 associate we are associating the value 10 to a variable a right variable allow programmers to quickly create a wide range of simple or complex programs which tell the computer to behave in a predefined fashion okay so these are the variables basic program structure 
the most common lo uh, logic structures uh, are if then structure as as in the beginning uh, we have studied uh, here as i shown here in our previous slide in, a, in the flow chart here i told you that if if there is a bulb there are two conditions yes or no okay so if if and else is used for the condition so we are using if then condition allows the computer to make a decision based on the result of an expression like uh, here the variable is my variable is greater than 0 true if the value stored in my variable is greater than 0 then it is true because i have defined this my variable that is having the value greater than 0 so what we are saying that if my variable is greater than 0 then this can be the result if it is not greater than 0 then the computer moves to the next factor okay if true the computer execute the associated action before moving on the next instruction in the program if it is false then maybe it will go again to the first step okay this is a if then instruction for loops uh, instead of writing uh, many statements like when we are uh, we are if we are talking about uh, a vlan in a switch so what we are doing we are creating different vlan that is virtual local area network we are creating in a switch and we are saying that uh, we are writing the uh, command that vlan 1 vlan 2 vlan 3 uh, vlan 4 vlan 5 we are writing many many times one thing uh, with the different numbers like the number is for vlan like VLAN 1 is first VLAN, VLAN 2 is second VLAN, VLAN 3 is third VLAN or similarly we are writing let's say we have to create 10 or 20 VLANs so we have to write uh, for each VLAN we, we have to write VLAN and then that number but in for loops what we are doing we are not writing all these numbers we are saying that it will start from 1 and end at 10 so the 10 VLANs will be created in our system so for loop uh, loops execute a specific set of instruction a specific number of times based on an expression a variable acts as a counter inside a range of value identified by a minimum and maximum number as i told you we are creating the vlan so what we will do we will write in a for loop that uh, start from uh, one uh, one is the default we will, we will say that start from 2 and ends up to 20 okay and ends to 20 so the minimum value is 2 and the maximum value is, value is 20 every time the loop is executed the counter variable is incremented we are writing in the loop that the first vlan is 1 uh, we are defining the variable in the loop that a is equal to 1 then we are saying that a is equal to a plus 1 so 1 will be incremented if we are writing 2 will be incremented it's up to the scenario of the program so uh, the counter variable is incremented when the counter is equal to the defined maximum value the loop is abandoned and the execution moves on to the next instruction okay so as you can see here uh, in example it is given here for i is equal to 0 i is less than 100 i plus plus so print on the screen counter is equal to plus i so it will print uh, first it will print 1 then 2 3 4 it will be uh, added in the loop similarly a while loop as this is for loop and similarly the while loop is also there execute a specific uh, specific set of instruction while an expression is true as you can see here while value is less than 10 then print on the screen value is still less than 10 value is equal to value plus 1 so the purpose of for loop and while loop are same okay create a process flow chart as as i told you in the beginning that the, the names of the diagrams or the name of the shapes this shape this triangular shape is uh, this rectangular shape is process uh, then this is uh, parallelogram is for data this shape is for predefined process this is for termination this is for decision this is for pre, uh, preparation this is for display okay and this is for connector so these are the different shapes that we are using in a 
flowchart. The next is Blockly. What is Blockly? Uh, actually, uh, the Blockly is a client side library for the programming language uh, JavaScript for creating block based visual programming languages and editors. Uh, it is uh, it is a project of Google and is a free and open source software released under the uh, Apache license 2.0. So uh, this is actually for visual programming. Uh, this is a visual programming tool uh, created to help beginner to understand the concept of programming. Allows a user to create program without entering any lines of code. You are not writing the lines and codes as you can see here. On the screen, uh, this is the block set variable one to five. What we are doing, the variable one is there, set is there, two is there, just we have to the value five. Or we can change the value five. Similarly, here in this set, set word one to prompt for text this message. Okay, what is the first word? Instead of writing a statement, just we are joining the blocks here in this workspace. Okay. Uh, yes, Blockly Games. Uh, Blockly Games uh, actually is uh, this is a, a series uh, of educational games that teach programming. It is designed basically it is designed for children uh, who have not had prior experience with the computer languages uh, or sorry with the computer programming. Uh, by the end of these games, players are ready to use conventional text-based language. If uh, in the in this is uh, it means that this is for the uh, beginner here this is the link on this link you will find all these games uh, are there you can solve the puzzle you can measure the puzzle uh, you can uh, have all these games are there movie and these are different puzzles uh, or you can say that we have different programs that we have to solve okay when we click on this link uh, this page will open and then go to uh, you can check all these uh, games are there available there and then you will put the values Accordingly, in the blocks, you, know, you are combining the blocks, and the puzzle will be completed, and your program will be uh, getting in. Okay, uh, this is also a lab that blinking and LED using blockly. You can see here. What is Python? Before going to words, what is Python? You can see here there are uh, two things. You can see on your screen there are two. Blocks. One is guessing game with Blockly and guessing game with Python. What you are doing, you are writing a program, you are writing uh, all this code in the Python. Instead of uh, writing a program in Blockly, what you are doing, you are you are attaching the or you are joining the blocks uh, in this workspace. You can see set guess to one. Similarly, what we read here, guess is equal to none. Picked number, these are, this is again a variable is equal to none. Then guess is equal to one. Print, I will think the number between one and ten. This is a game, all game, we are uh, thinking one number and the other person is telling me uh, what is the number. So this is uh, a program in Python and here it is in uh, Blockly. So uh, what is Python and uh, how it is uh, more popular? Uh, because it is easy to read and write okay python is actually an interpreter high level general purpose programming language this is a high purpose general purpose uh, uh, high uh, this is a high level general purpose programming language okay so uh, in, in, in python we are writing the program it is uh, very easy to write the program uh, in python when we when we will use the python we will understand that it is easier than other languages like Java and C++, like that. Here it is written philosophy of the language. Beautiful is better than ugly. Explicit is better than implicit. Simple is better than complex. Complex is better than complicated. And readability counts. Okay. So these are uh, this is Python interpreter understand and execute Python code and this is like uh, like a Linux shell. You can see uh, this is the uh, Python 2.7. Okay, and you will find here these four greater sign uh, options are there. 
and in new versions of operating system it is already uh, available in the home directory in linux based team the python interpreter is been installed in, uh, in uh, on this path on U, uh, in usr bin and then python or usr bin python c because there are two uh, now we have also python c the old one was python 2.7 with new windows as i told you python installer python installed by default into the user home directory after the python interpreter has been installed it operates somewhat like the linux shell as i told you it looks like the linux shell this means uh, that when called uh, um, when called with no arguments it reads and executes commands interactively when called with a file name argument or with a file as standard input it reads and executes a script from that file what what does it mean you can write a script here or you can write a script in the editor any any editor and then you can run from there okay so uh, this is what we have in file okay so uh, start python interpreter i have installed here uh, the python you can see uh, you can find it you can download python it's an open uh, source language you can download it and you can install it uh, here i have uh, this one python 3.8 i have this one and looks like this shell okay as i told you the four greater signs are here See, see here the signs are here, and uh, then as I told you, it's very easy. Why? Because uh, instead of writing variable when I'm writing here C plus four, it gives me the result seven. Okay, directly. There is no, and um, it is not in any other language. You cannot write like this C plus four and it gives you the result. It's only in Python you can find it. Okay, uh, variables and basic statements in Python. Actually, we don't have uh, time to do practice in Python. I will just show you the code that is available on your uh, screen. As I told you, the interpreter receives and executes statements interactively. We have, we have written 25 plus 25. Uh, it gives us 50, 70 plus uh, 7 into 6. It will give us the result. Similarly, it is giving us the result. Acts a simple calculator. It can work as a simple calculator. And uh, also, when we are uh, attempts to use uh, a not defined variable, will be result in in an in an error. Okay, you can see here uh, special variables we have used here uh, underscore uh, holds the result of the last expression issued. You can see here this one. We have uh, a statement tax is equal to 12.5, and this slash 100 then price is equal to 100.50 so price into tax it gives us gives us the percentage this 12.5625 then price price plus minus it gives us this design round underscore you can see special variable underscore holds the result of the last expression issue okay that holds the result uh, to assign values to variables use the equal to sign. We are using the equal to sign birth year is equal to 1941. Current is year, year is equal to 2016. Current year is uh, current year, birth year 75. Okay. This will give us the age. The first one is 1941 and now it is 2016. So we have uh, a minus current year minus Birth year, it gives us a uh, variables and basic statements in Python. The interpreter receives and executes uh, statements interactively. You can see we have defined a variable i that is equal to 256 into 256. Then it will give the print. The print command is used for uh, in the quotation we are writing uh, when we are writing this, the value of i is when we are writing. Print the value of i is this will be shown in the output. The value of i is and what is i that is 256 into 256. 
that will give us the result. Okay, print statement prints the result of the expression. It was given. It means that you can uh, write anything after print here that will give you the output when you will uh, run the program. This value will come that is given in the print command. Okay. Uh, similarly, the next one is spam egg single quote. We are, we are using here single quotes. It gives us the same thing. If I am writing here uh, the same thing, I am write here single quotes. We are writing. It will give us the uh, same result. Okay. Clearly, the backslash gap the single quote. Okay, we are using this one. Single quote will be escaped. And yes, he said also double quote we have used here. Okay. Double quote instead we are using here. Use the backslash character to escape characters. As an example, a string uses double quotes, but also needs to use a double quote within. Uh, within the string, single quote or double quotes can be used to wrap up wrap string. Okay. Here we have used the function allow for a block of code to be given a name and reused as needed. What we what we did here, we have defined a function to add two numbers. Okay. Define add underscore number a equal to five. T is equal to 11. Return a plus b and print add number. You can find here. It, it is adding a plus b. Okay. Uh, the usual functions and data types in Python. Python supports many useful functions and data types. Some of the more important ones are as follow. Range. Where we are using range generates a list of numbers usually used to uh, iterate with for loop. As we are also using uh, the range in, uh, in mathematics, we are using range like we are saying that uh, we are instead of writing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we are writing the range like we are uh, we are giving the range 1 and then hyphen and 10. From 1 to 10 we are saying so this is the range. The same range is working here. You can see, uh, but there are different parameters in range. That is range stop. You can see here for i in range three, print i. So what what it, what happens? It will print from zero to three. Okay, uh, up to up. It is not given uh, giving us the three number three because uh, two is in between the range of three. Okay. When we are saying one to ten, it means uh, one to ten means uh, zero to nine. Okay, so that's why it is range. We have written range three. Then we find here zero, one, and two. Two parameters as it is range stop for i in range three to six. We are writing from three to six. Here we have not given the first uh, range that from where it will start. But here we have given the range from 3 to 6. So that's why it is 3, 4, and 5. Okay. Uh, three parameters. What are these three parameters? This, these three parameters are start, stop, and step. Means that how much will be added? So what will be the first one? First in this range from 4 to 10, if you will find, we have given uh, here the range 4 to 10. So from 4 to 10, what will be the step? What does it mean? First, if first is 4, then what will be the next? 4 plus 2. Then we will got 6. Then 6 plus 2. It will give us 8. So this is for steps. If we are writing here uh, 5 to 20, if we are writing the range here for i uh, in range 5 to 20, and then we are writing here 5. So what does it mean? The first one is 5. The second is 15. The third is 20. Okay. So it will go like that. Understand? Starting number of the sequence. Uh, the ending number 
in the sequence and the difference between uh, each number in the sequence okay so this means start from where it will start where it will stop and what are the steps in between start and stop if we have given 2 it means plus 2 the first one plus 2 then plus 2 okay and we have given any if, if we are giving here 3 then it will be uh, added as number 3 okay uh, uh, the tulip sequence separated by parenthesis what does it mean uh, you can see here if you will find here uh, uh, this one tup1 is equal to dancing Singing 400 and 1 at 4. Two. There are four four things we have used here. Okay, and this TUP2 uh, is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. What what is the uh, what it will be printed when we will run the command? Print uh, TUP1 of 0. This is of 0. So we can say that this is 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so print what is the print? print then first this and then tup1 of 0 so tup1 colon 5 means what does it mean the first one and the fifth you can see here when the above code is exec executed it produce produces the following result t1 of 0 is dancing this is 0 as i told you this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and uh, what does mean tup2 1 and 5 so it is 2 3 4 and 5 2 3 4 and 5 okay so start from 2 2 3 4 and ends with 5 right so here it is given a uh, you can say it's a range okay similarly here list this is also uh, one function uh, used in the python that you can see uh, here we have given list 1 is car train 47 2016 and list 2 is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 print list 0 list 1 of 0 and list 1 of 0 so you can see print list 2 of 1 column 5 list 2 of 1 column 5 when the above code is executed what will be the result list this is 0 1 2 3 so list of 1 is car okay and list of 2 is List of 2 will be from 1 to 5, so 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay. Similarly, here uh, we are updating the list. Okay, updating list. You can see here updating list. But what, what we are doing in this list, we are saying that print available at index 2. Print list of 2, print list of 2 is equal to 2017. First, what was list of two? Uh, sorry, what was list one? Here only list is there. Okay, here we have list one and list two. We have we are going to update the list, so we are we are using the word uh, list. List of two is equal to 2017. Print new value available at index two. Print list of two. When the above code executed, what will be the value? Value available at index two this one as i told you 0 1 and 2 so we have given here list of 2 so for 7 will be there okay and new value available at index new value available at index that is what 2 and now we have given list of 2 is equal to 2017 so 2017 yeah okay got it uh, here the set is used set are unordered collection of unique elements common uses include membership uh, testing removing duplicates from a sequence and computing standard with the uh, and computing standard match operation on sets such as intersection union difference and symmetric differences okay so for this purpose we have as you can see x is equal to this is 1, 2, 3, this variable, x is variable having value 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. There is a repetition here. Okay. There is a repetition here. And then we are saying that set of x is what is set of x? If you studied in mathematics about sets, then you can understand the set of x is 
one, two, and three. Okay, this is set of x. But the value of x is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. These are the values, and we have defined set of x is one, two, and three. So we have also another variable y, one, one, six, 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 and then add, add. But what is the set of y? Set of y is one, six, and add only this one. So z is equal to bird, cat, dog, dog, bird, bird. Okay, but set of z is bird, cat, dog. dog bird and bird okay so it will uh, when we will uh, write this one animal is equal to set of cows fish pig horse animal dot add is get print animal so set fish cat horse cow and pig for group in animals group discard fish print group and then set cat horse cow and pig so this will be the Result. It will delete the common values from here. Uh, those are common. A uh, common as you can see here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All one, two, three are common, or you can say these are the multiple values of one, two, and three. But the set of x is one, two, three only. Only it is one, two. Three. So it will give us the result one, two. The as you can see here, the next function is uh, a dictionary. Uh, dictionary function. Dictionary is a list of elements that are separated by Commas. You can see this is D I C T means dictionary is equal to age 34 city, and you can see here we are using the colon here. We are using the colon here. Age 34 city colon Rome year colon 2016 month is March. So print dictionary of city dictionary. You can see dictionary of city is this one dictionary of city. and then print dictionary of year is dictionary of year so dictionary of city is wrong and dictionary of year is 2016 when we are updating the value we are saying that dictionary of year is 2015 first it was 2016 but now it is 2015 then print dictionary of year dictionary of year then dictionary of year will be 2015 as we have updated the value so you can update the values in uh, in the functions uh, when we are when you are doing the code in python okay dictionary of support is equal to swimming, swimming. length of dictionary is 5 you can see each element is a combination of value and unique key each key is separated from its value by a colon okay we have we have used colon here as you can see here we have used colon then also we have used colon here so each key is separated from its value by a colon dictionary element elements can be accessed updated and deleted also okay uh this is a uh, these are small programs in python what we are doing here we have a variable variable x and the type of this variable is integer and into input input means when we will run the program this input will ask from us like when we are saying integer uh, x is equal to integer and input value please enter an integer okay so we will write at the run time at the run time we will give the value of x now just we are defining that x is an integer please enter an integer that is 40 right now we are giving the condition here if x is less than 0 then x is equal to 0 we have given two conditions here if x is less than 0 x is 0 print negative change to 0 okay and then else if x is equal to 0 print 0 else if x is equal to 1 print print single else print more so these are uh, we have written the if else conditions uh, three times here x is less than 0 then it will print the negative value if x is equal to 0 it will print 0 if x is equal to 1 then print single otherwise if any if it is not 0 or 1 if it is 2 3 4 then it will give you more okay as you can see mac 
make decisions based upon the result of an expression else specify instructions to be executed if the expression is false else if this e l i f means else if is used to perform a second test if this condition is not correct then go to the other thing if the other condition is not correct go to the third condition if third condition is not correct go to the fourth condition right so by this way uh, we are using uh, if else statement in our program measure some string okay this is a program for measure some string we are using words words is a variable that is a uh, these are variables words is equal to get window and defense stat then for w in words print w length of double okay get three window six and then uh, a defense stat okay we have used there for loop and for while loop we are using here while loop uh, the sum of two elements defines the Fibonacci series. What does mean? Then we are adding one plus one, it gives us two. Then two plus the previous one, two plus one, three. Three plus two, five. Five plus three, eight. For this one, what will be the program? We have written the variables. So a, b is equal to zero and one. While b is less than ten, print b. A, b is equal to b, and then a plus. B. What we are doing? We are adding. These two numbers and getting the next result. Then we are adding this result plus the previous number. Then we are getting the third one. Okay, so this is the finish. Uh, setting setting up our device server environment. These are also a lab basic Python programming. Uh, how to install? Uh, how you will install? Uh, the virtual machine in uh, virtual uh, here you can see in virtual box and then you will connect this virtual box with the Cisco packet cluster, right? And then you will do uh, this is a uh, here you can see that uh, this one is uh, it's that is this one. So I think it is Ubuntu. Sir, I T server VM. This is the server, okay? Server of uh, yes, this server is given on the on your website, and you can find there, and you can install there, okay? The next topic is prototyping your day, your idea. What is what is prototyping? Actually, the prototyping is an early uh, sample model or release of a product built to test uh, a concept or process. You can say that uh, it's a draft version of a product that allows you uh, to explore your ideas and show the intention behind a feature or the overall design concept to users before investing time and money. In Development. Uh, it's a uh, it's, as as it is mentioned here. Uh, prototyping is the process of creating a working model of a product or system. Uh, and you can also a prototype. You can also say uh, a prototype. Uh, generally, where it is used to evaluate a new design to enhance uh, precision by system analysis uh, analyst and users. Okay. So uh, how you will enhance uh, your idea if, if you have some idea, uh, you have a basic model, and by using that basic model, uh, how you will uh, implement your idea on that basic model. Uh, in IoT, it's a process of building IoT hardware and devices to enhance uh, with smart sensors and embedded systems using uh, many off-the-shelf components like sensors. Circuit boards and microcontroller. A lot of these off-shelf, uh, off-the-shelf solutions uh, are readily available to end consumer. Uh, you, you can take uh, an example of um, an uh, Arduino board, uh, for instance. 
uh, you can order it online and uh, you can get it uh, uh, within uh, one day or two and then you will uh, work on that uh, Arduino board and you can uh, implement your idea on that uh, Arduino board. Okay. Uh, also, a prototype, a prototype uh, is by no means of uh, a market a market ready product. It is just a trial version of your connector solution and acts as a proof that you are innovative. Idea will work uh, the way you envision it. As I told you, um, uh, it's uh, you can implement your idea uh, on any model. And as I given you the example of Arduino board, uh, you can implement your idea on your uh, Arduino board uh, for that purpose. Okay. Uh, as in IoT, it helps to have design skill, electrical skill, physical or mechanical skill, programming skill, and to understand how TCP/IP works. Because the IoT is still developing, there are still unknown tasks to discover. So you can uh, you can uh, implement your idea on IoT. Uh, if you have any idea, you can implement on any IoT device. That is, uh, you can make an IoT device. Uh, you, if you have an Arduino board and then you will put some sensors on it and wireless uh, Bluetooth or wireless card in that Arduino board and then you can make uh, for any uh, any for anything you can make a, a sensor for that okay uh, and uh, as it is mentioned here that uh, the IOT is still developing uh, there is uh, there are still unknown tasks to discover so this is a great time to invent something that is uh, a part of the IoT, okay. Uh, there are some questions about uh, prototyping is fully functional but not fault proof is an actual uh, working uh, version of the product is used uh, for uh, for performance evaluating and further improvement of product has a complete interior and exterior may be relatively expensive to produce. In the IoT is often used uh, as a technology demonstrator. Okay. Uh, how to prototype? But as as I told you uh, that uh, if if you have any idea, then you can uh, you can implement it on any uh, like on Arduino board. If you want to make a sensor, as I told you, the example of sensor, then you can take. Uh, the Arduino board and you can implement your idea on that board. Okay. How do you prototype? A team uh, at Google use the rapid prototyping method to creating Google Glass, Kickstarter, Indiegogo and uh, CrowdFounder are just three of the many online crowd funding programs. Okay. Uh, what IoT invention will you create? Uh, you can create the IoT uh, Invention. Okay, physical material. What what does it mean uh, physical material? Uh, as you know that uh, by the internet, through the internet, uh, many people are com can communicate with each other and they can discuss the matters with each other. Uh, of, uh, as as it is mentioned here in your slide, uh, a good place to start it, of course, the internet. People who have never physically met can now col uh, collaborate. And work together. Uh, Maker Media is a global platform for, for connecting makers with each other to exchange project projects and ideas. Uh, due to the internet, we we can share our ideas. Uh, we can uh, communicate with the community that is working already that is working on that uh, on that uh, on that in that work. Uh, the, those are also involved. You can. Uh, take the advantage of those uh, for those people uh, and if you want to study something if you want to create something as you can see uh, that uh, everything is available on YouTube on Google whenever you want uh, anything uh, you will you are just writing on YouTube YouTube and you can and you can get the video for that uh, specific purpose you can get if, if someone has already done it. okay uh, making society has a good section on modeling, uh, uh, on modeling, plastic and clay. Okay, uh, Lego Mindstorm has a large community of 
contributed and uh, contributors and fans. Uh, what is uh, Lego uh, Mindstorm? Uh, it's a hardware and software structure which is produced by Lego for the development of programmable uh, robots based on Lego building blocks. Okay, so uh, you can uh, use this uh, Lego Mindstorm uh, community for your uh, for your own purpose. Similarly, Mechanical and uh, Erector Set is a model construction system that consists of reusable metal strips, flats, angle uh, girders, and uh, wheels, axles, and gears with nuts and bolts to connect the pieces. Let's you build working prototypes and mechanical device. Similarly, 3D uh, printing is also uh, the process of making a solid object based on a 3D model computing device. Okay. Electronic toolkits, as I have given you the example of uh, Arduino, it's an open source physical computing platform based on a simple microcontroller board and a development environment for writing software for the board. You can develop Interactive pro uh, objects that take input from a variety of switches and sensors to control light, water, and other physical objects. As I told you, that you can use the Arduino board for uh, implementing your idea on that Arduino board. Okay, it's an open open source physical computing platform. You can, as I told you, you can purchase it online, and you can get it in uh, within uh, within a day. Uh, and you can work or you can implement your idea on that. Also, Raspberry Pi uh, is uh, a low cost credit uh, card size computer that plugs into a computer monitor or TV. A little bit expensive, Arduino is uh, less expensive, and uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, Pi is uh, a little bit costly uh, from Arduino, but it has more function than Arduino. It is capable of doing everything a computer can do, from browsing the internet and playing high definition video uh, to making spreadsheets, word processing, and playing games. You can use this one, and you can implement your idea on uh, both of these devices. Also, uh, BeagleBone is a very similar to the uh, Raspberry Pi in size, power requirements, and application. Uh, what is the difference? It has more processing power than the uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, therefore, it is better choice for applications with higher processing requirement. If you are, if you have a higher uh, processing requirement, then you will use um, instead of a Raspberry Pi, uh, you can use the Pixel One. Okay. Yes, programming sources from where you can. Uh, Understand uh, the different programming, uh, like uh, as I as I told you about the uh, as I told you about a uh, Python. You can uh, visit these sites. These are different sites, and these are open uh, and available for all. Uh, you can go on these links, and you can. Uh, there are some lectures uh, also there. There are powerpoints and video lectures are also available on these sites. You can. Get knowledge from there. Also, there are different. Uh, this is also a platform from where you can get the knowledge. As I told you, this is a community inventor and uh, workshop uh, are available for all of you. Okay. This is a lab. Uh, you can do this step. So uh, our chapter two is also finished here. I think it's enough for today.